Hey there, I'm further reading. Today we're going to talk about the military. When making a new military squad, I would advise making your noble first. The reason for that is when you click the plus, it's going to show you people who have skills that are related to being a good leader. The next tip is kind of similar to the first one in that it is about getting a preview of your skills of your potential soldiers. When creating the new squad, it's going to ask for a uniform. We're just going to give it anything to start with. We are going to give it the leader. And before we start assigning more ones, what we're going to do is head back to squads. We're going to select it here and we're going to go to equipment. And we are going to go to details here because I don't want this to have just any weapon. I want this to be a specific kind of guard. I want this to be specifically a, we'll say a mace squad. Now that we have him a mace, we're going to save this as a uniform. We will confirm and save the uniform. Now that we can see that we have a macing on our leader here, we are going to click assign a uniform to the squad and we're going to assign it the amazing uniform. Because now the squad is specifically a mace squad, we're going to see who in our fortress has a mace skill. In order to train, you need a barracks. We'll see here, I've made a proper barracks. They have a bunch of weapon racks and armor stands. They've got some cabinets in there. they got some beds. And in Dwarf Fortress Classic, you need to have at least like some items in your barracks for it to be a barracks for trading. But we actually don't have to do that in premium here. What I can do is just put a barracks anywhere I want. So let's say this is the entrance to my base. Let's put a barracks here. So we are going to put in the glacial turquoises, make this training. And then if I pop over here, I'm going to change this. So there's no longer training allowed here. So you'll see now they're moving over through my dogs and they're going to train over here instead. What this means is that basically you can combine the, the station order with a train order. So they're training here at the entrance, which means that if I do get attacked or if anything happens down here at my tavern, if say this naked elf who's running about, if he, if he causes trouble, you know, these guys are right outside because they're training. And when there's no trouble happening, they're still using the time effectively. For the next tip, you might notice stuff like this happening where there's food being left in random people's bedrooms that's rotting. Uh, this is in connection to your military. Basically, what's happening here is if I go to equipment, you'll see here that there is these two slots here. This is a backpack and this is a water skin. Every soldier wants to put two pieces of food in their backpack and they want to put one drink into their water skin. That's so they can eat and drink while they are out doing military stuff. Uh, however, there's a bug with how this works. Basically, once somebody claims food, it belongs to them and no one's allowed to touch it. And then if for some, if for whatever reason they put the food away, let's say they end their shift and take off their uniform, or if they go to eat at the same time you should order or various other situations, they can decide, you know what, I don't want to eat. And instead of putting the food back in the backpack, they just leave it on the ground. So the problem here is that because it's on the ground and because it belongs to them, no one is going to move it. So even if I was to set it to be dumped, no one's actually going to move this because it belongs to Kivish. An alternate way to fix it would be to make sure that you have no backpacks at all in your fortress. Don't buy any backpacks from any traders. Don't create any backpacks in any of your workshops and uh, don't loot any backpacks from people that you kill. If you don't have any backpacks, then your soldiers can't put any food in those backpacks and that will completely avoid the situation. For the next trick, if you're using something like stagger training where your military is training sometimes and off duty other times, one thing that can be a little awkward with it is if you see here with equip all orders only, that means that they will only wear armor if they be given an order. So otherwise they will wear their normal outfit. That can be annoying because let's say you get attacked and you want them ready on the double. They have to go, they have to fight, they have to go to wherever their armor store, they have to put it on. And that can be a bit annoying sometimes. So what I like to do is I will go to off duty here. I will edit it. And I'm going to say, you know what? I want you to always have your armor on, okay? I don't care what you're doing. Just always wear your armor. This might sound like a bad idea, but all that does really is slow them down. And now that we have uh, Dwarven Children hauling in Dwarf Fortress Premium, uh, a lot of your adults don't really need to move that much depending on their job. So while they're a bit slower, it's probably fine. At least I think it's fine. So what you can do is when you've done that, you'll see here this name has changed to no orders. 
I'm going to copy this and I'm going to paste it down to all of these off duty ones. So now that means that the glacial turquoises are going to always wear their armor, even when they're not training. Lastly, we're going to talk about crossbows. And the easy way to give a tip about the best way to use crossbows in your military right now in Premium Dwarf Fortress is to not use crossbows at all. There is some weird issues with them. Game to train seems basically impossible. You can't set the ammo properly. Apparently they're not equipping the quivers properly. There's a lot of weird stuff going on. So for now, I would recommend don't use any crossbows in your army. Only use melee troops. Hope you found these military tips helpful. If you have any other tips, feel free to share them below in the comments. If you want to see more content like this, feel free to like and subscribe. You can also find me streaming on Twitch four days a week. And also, you can check out any of these videos on screen right now.